Hey guys, my name is Derek with Underwater Fish Light. Today in this episode, I want to go over our LED product. It's one of my personal favorites. I usually always carry one with my boat, and it's just kind of one of those things that I bring along with me. And it's really efficient for catching bait, or if you tie up somewhere in a creek where there's a good amount of tidal flow, you can throw it off the back of your boat with a good dip net and scoop up a bunch of shrimp on a strong outgoing tide. A lot of people also use our LED products for crappie fishing. Up in the northern lakes, they uh, bring a lot of crappie and it's one of our customers' favorites. Now, these products are not meant for long-term use. They're meant for more short-term use. To so bring out in your boat or bring out to a fishing pier. If you're looking for a long-term use or something for your personal dock, we do have a great line of dock models as well. So that's something that you might want to look into. LEDs are more for taking on your fishing boat or bringing to a pier. Now, I do love this product because a lot of times I go down to the Florida Keys and we do a lot of lobstering. You can put it in the water and just drift over the top of a flat and be able to see those lobster very, very easily. So let's go ahead and start unboxing and go from there. All right, guys, so let's start unpacking it. You're going to take the cover off here. You're going to start pulling out the paper. Go ahead and throw that out. And then you're going to have your alligator clips. This is what you hook up to the battery to make your light work. And set those off to the side. And then here is the bobber weight. This weight right here is going to be hooked right up to the bottom. This is going to allow the light to float right at the surface. So you can let it drift out behind your boat a little bit. And then this right here is a sinker weight. If you want it to go all the way down to the bottom, or if you're having a little bit of current, sometimes you could hook both of them on. So that way the light stays straight down because I use it for shrimping and sometimes the current does get a flowing pretty good. Here is a set of instructions that will be in there. There's also warranty information on that, so make sure you read through that. And then, here is the LED product. Now, it comes standard with 20 feet of cord. You are able to get it in longer lengths. Usually 20 feet is just amount. That's just perfect. So, here is the light. And then, check it over, make sure everything looks good, which I'm pretty confident it will. UPS does a pretty good job, and these tubes right here are really durable, so uh, now, we, I reuse these tubes. I put it in my boat just like this, and I keep the light always in this tube, because if you carry around the light just like this here, you might have something happen to it, whether if a knife cuts it or a fish hook cuts it. Now, we do have a three-year uh, warranty on this product against manufactured defects, so if water were ever to get inside this tube here, that would be covered. The only thing we don't cover with this product pretty much is like a hole or a nick in this cable, or if it ever gets cut, and if it gets lost, then you can't cover it either. So what you're going to do is um, take the two alligator clips, and you're going to plug the two in just like so, and then get a battery and hook it up, just like that. And now you have the light that works. You can hook your weight to it and then drop it down the water and then have it go down just like that. Now, when you're fishing it, you want to have it straight down or let it drift out beyond you a little bit. So um, if you're letting it drift out, put the bobber weight on it. This weight here is gonna keep the water line right here. It's going to be bobbing this tube right in the water column. Now that's if you want to let it drift out. So that's pretty much how that goes. Uh, a couple different things that I like using is this right here is a jump pack and you can plug in this fancy little cigarette adapter. This is an accessory. I believe it's $20. You could plug it into the generator or the starter pack here. Hook it right up just like this. Same type of connections. Plug it in like that. Now you can just plug it into a cigarette lighter. And that's pretty much the LED light.